You're watching the LG K62 disassembly. If you guys need toolkits or anything like that, I have links in the description. Before we begin, let's read the sticker on the back of the phone. Warning, this device's back cover and battery are non-removable. Sure, they may not be easily removable, but they're definitely removable. So with that being said, let's peel off the sticker and begin. Let's start off by removing the SIM tray. Once the SIM tray is removed, we're going to use a hair dryer or a heat gun to heat up the back plate so we can loosen up the adhesive underneath. And then we're going to use a plastic pry tool to pry the back plate off. So here's your plastic back plate. And there's a graphite foam type layer on the back over here, which sits on top of the battery. There are 16 Phillips screws at this point, which need to be removed. So once all 16 Phillips screws are removed, you're going to use your plastic pry tool to get in between the back housing and the frame of the screen. And then you're going to go along the edges and pop the catches off. So once the back housing is loose from the frame, you're going to lift it up towards you, but be careful because the cable for your fingerprint reader is still attached. We're going to have to disconnect the battery cable first. Once that's disconnected, we can go ahead and disconnect the fingerprint reader cable. So here's your back housing and it is plastic as well. Taking a look at the inside, you have your dual LED flash located over here, as well as multiple antenna contacts around the housing. Now we can go ahead and disconnect the rest of the cables. There are two wire cables on the corner we have to pop off and disconnect as well. There are two more Phillips screws by the camera assembly which need to be removed. Once those screws are removed, we can lift up and remove this plastic cover around the cameras. And then it's time to remove the main board. Keep in mind there's a small plastic catch over here in the corner which you're going to have to bypass in order to remove your main board. So here's a better look at your main board. You have a secondary microphone located over here and you have your front facing camera connected here as well as these two cameras connected on this side of the board. If you wanted to disconnect those, all you have to do is just pop off the connector. There's also a small piece of copper tape located over here on that shield. And here's a look at it with the copper tape peeled off. So now taking a look at the back, we have the proximity sensor located over here and the cables for your two other cameras right here. You also have your SIM and memory card reader located over here and two pieces of copper tape on these shields. Once we peel off the copper tapes, we can see some thermal paste on top of this chip over here as well as the processor located over here. Now let's disconnect the flex cable on the charger port board and then we can disconnect the two wire cables as well. And then we can remove the speaker assembly. Here's a better look at that. And you do have a mesh filter or cover over the opening. Now in order to remove the charger port board or the sub board on the bottom, you have one plastic catch over here and one on this side you're going to have to bypass in order to be able to remove it. Here's a better look at your subboard. You have a charger port located over here and your headphone jack located over here. You also have some rubber gaskets around them and your primary microphone is located right here. And here's a look at the other side. Now, when it comes to removing the battery, LG definitely didn't make it easy. The adhesive underneath this battery, as well as the K42 battery is extremely strong. So you're gonna have to take your time and gently apply heat throughout the process. So you don't risk warping the battery too much or piercing it or damaging it in any way and risking it catching on fire. And as always, keep in mind, you're gonna to want to apply heat from the screen side so the adhesive underneath the battery heats up or warms up and loosens up a little bit. You don't want to directly apply heat to the battery on this side.
So here's a look at your battery. You have two flex cables running underneath the battery. So when you're prying off the battery, you have to make sure you're careful so you don't damage these cables. This cable over here connects your subboard to your main board, and this is your screen cable. So if you ever wanted to replace your screen, you would have to disassemble the whole phone. So you'd be able to remove the battery and gain access to your screen cable. And then you would have to heat the front of the screen so you can loosen up the adhesive and pry the screen off the mid frame. And then you get your new screen, reapply it to the mid frame, making sure you run your cable back through the opening over here. And then you'd put your phone back together. You have your vibrator motor located over here on the bottom corner. Your earpiece speaker is located over here on top. You have your power button cable over here, this flex cable. You also have one on this side for your other buttons. And another thing to point out, you have one rubber gasket and filter on top for your mic hole over here. And another one on the bottom right there. Now it's time to reassemble the phone. Once all your screws are back in place, apply new adhesive and reapply your back plate. Flip over your phone, power it on, and you're done. As far as repairability goes on this phone, I'd probably give it a 7.5 out of 10 due to the fact the battery is extremely hard to replace. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe, click on the notification bell so you've been notified the next time I upload a video. Thanks again for watching guys, and I'll see you guys next time.